We are rolling into the weekend and it is looking promising, Keith. It is. It was uh, pretty rainy last My power actually went out. Really? You lost yeah. it? What, last night? Yeah, and I was like, you know how you just hear that beep and yep. everything? Yeah. Uh, oh, and I was darn. like, did this storm get out of hand? Did I miss something? Turns out <laughs> there was like 47 people without power. I was one of them, so. It wasn't. Maybe it was a squirrel or something. Yeah, someone yeah. chomped in a line or something <laughs> like that. Take a look at these rainfall totals. And uh, some of the heaviest rain was where we expected over down East Maine, where they had over three inches. Bar Harbor, uh, about 3.5. And Portland, almost two inches. This kind of goes to, I was talking to Mike about this yesterday. Seems to me that down East Maine can get quite a bit of rain and not have any real flooding problems, which is what happened last night, early this morning. Now we're clearing up and we've got kind of a secondary line of showers and storms that are trying to pop up. You can see them through Augusta, through Skowhegan, offshore of Kenny Bunk, uh, and another like kind of scraggler here to the northwest of Sebago. So there'll be some pop-up showers and storms just because there's still some instability and now we've introduced some sunshine. So we call this self-destructive sunshine sometimes. The more you get, the better chance you have of developing those showers going forward. But I think a lot of us will be dry through the rest of the afternoon and pretty pleasant with temperatures in the 70s, especially later this afternoon. Looks like the dynamics for showers start to reduce. So it's a nice late afternoon, early evening. And then overnight tonight, temperatures drop into the 40s in most spots. So it's a cool start tomorrow, but we end up with a really pleasant day. A lot of sunshine get to about 75 and a lot of spots. And it's just a lot like last Saturday, which uh, a lot of people liked, of course. Now, Sunday's a bit more complicated. We've got more clouds and isolated sprinkle even around here on Sunday, but it's warmer getting to the upper 70s and even some low 80s over southwestern Maine. So if you don't mind the downside potential of an isolated shower, then Sunday's certainly the warmer of the two weekend days. There's Larry, not that far away, right? If you look at it, it's just, kind of due east there of Cape Cod. Some of the swells that are being recorded are big, off Larry, 17 feet here. As you get closer to Maine's coastline, they're more in the five to 10 foot range. They'll kind of peak later this afternoon into this evening. We could see 10 to 15 foot swells. So some big waves, uh, certainly offshore and just along the coastline as well. So Saturday looks really good. We do have that upside potential on Sunday as it's a bit warmer. Looks decent on Monday. We end up on the wrong side of the front though for Tuesday as we've talked about. It's a bit coolish there. And then a little unsettled through mid next week with some uh, chances of showers. This all stems from the same thing. There's a front that's going to be around just kind of wiggling around uh, northern New England for a few days. But overall, Cindy, I think the we weekend is positive and that's uh, more than half the battle. All right. All right. Good. Thank you, Keith.